Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have light heavyweight amateur mixed martial arts over three three-minute rounds of action as sponsored by Campbell Nutrition. Would you welcome first into the red corner, William Theronshaw. We're kicking things off with a bang here in Kent tonight. An evening of high octane fighting action and Dean coming off a brilliant finish in our opening fight of the night. We welcome William Vanenschild to the ring. Chris Hookstra here calling it. My main man and partner as always, Dean Midhat in the house tonight. Great to have all of our viewers here on Anime TV and Dean the big boys have come out to play tonight at light heavyweight. I watch William warming up in the change rooms. He has got big shots. He's looking for the body shots on the floor and mixing up with the headshots. Looking for downward hard pressure. And training out of the Frontline Academy, one of the very best gyms in the world. The European standouts over there have really got a good thing going from the game plan to the technical aspects. They really are producing some of the most sensational fighters, period. What stands out for me is the Frontline Academy. They are tacticians coupled with the physical abilities, Chris. Amazing to watch. William here looking focused. Getting checked by our referees. Shout out to the gentleman Daniel Movahidi and all-star staff. AJ Jeffries there behind him as well. Sam the man, Amidi, Andrew Nichols, Malcolm Martin there in the ring, master of ceremonies. We've got it all here tonight. And William enters the ring. We'll go back to Malcolm Martin here and bring out his opponent for this light heavyweight affair. And would you welcome his opponent into the blue corner? A Petri Alexander. However, it takes two to tango and a Petri Alexander emerges from the fighter's entrance from the notorious 10th Planet London gym. And Dean, you mentioned the talk of the locker room, but we also have to discuss the skills of what these high-class jiu-jitsu fighters bring to the table. A Petri here's corner. All I heard, Chris, was the word truck. Now, that could come from the 10th Planet system. Crazy submissions on the floor, so watch out for that. And the Masters there under Jamie Scott have really worked some magic, unorthodox game, crazy submissions. I, uh, I'm really excited to see what they bring to the MMA game tonight because quite realistically, if this one hits the mat, you're gonna have that strong top pressure of William taking on that devastating game of submission hunting that comes from the 10 Planet system. So it's going to be a compelling style matchup that should be non-stop action and entertainment for our crowd here tonight in Kent Dean. As we all know, you can be whichever belt you want to be in Jiu-Jitsu, but when you get hit, it changes the game to see how this unfolds in front of us tonight. Well, both warriors are in the cage for this light heavyweight mixed martial arts contest, and we'll take things back one more time to Malcolm Martin, and we'll make it all official. From Norway, representing Frontline Academy Oslo, William Verenshall! And in the blue corner, he is 24 years of age with one win on his record from his debut. From the Republic of Moldova, representing 10th Planet London and Diesel Gym, Apitri Alexander! With the stare down as cold as ice, Sam the Man Amidi closes in for those final instructions, Dean, and a lot of anticipation here in the building for these two to get things started. 
Interesting to see how these will tie up. Lapidi looking the more calmer, less aggressive fighter as you will. William with that crazy stare down. As they come to the center, we're going to find out. And here we go. Varen Schall right to the center ring, working the jab, moving the head off the center line. Varen Schall in those green gloves, the white gloves for a Petri Alexander. Nice. Big punches and bunches, but no surprises to see the 10th Planet man get in for the body lock. Initiate the clinch there, he needs to pummel for these underhooks. He can't let William keep these underhooks here because he control him. Being a taller fighter, Chris, leverage has a part. And he looked for that ball and socket grip, but wasn't able to get it. Now possibly working to grab a leg here, Dean, and pull him away from the fence. But I'm telling you that William Varenschild is physically imposing. Turning the Petri up against the cage here. Seems to be being the more dominant position. Exchanging body shots. And the legs getting smashed with those knees from the man from Frontline Academy. I get the sense here that William doesn't want to take it to the mat. He fought really hard there to keep it up standing and circled off the cage. Seems like William wants to strike Chris. Looking very loose here. As the action continues, the right cross lands. No flinch. No response from Alexander. You wouldn't think he was touched, Dean. A Petri swinging in there, trying to initiate the takedown, trying to initiate that clinch to get it to the ground. Look at him, looking for the shot there. He needs to set up his punches and kicks to initiate the shot. He can't just shoot in because William see that and he's going to spoil it. You might, might get a knee in there. Yes, the two continue to respond and try to make adjustments on the outside. You get the feeling. At any moment, William Varenschild is going to go in. Again, backs away, retreats and resets. The man from frontline with the kick. Immediate shot from the London fighter. Alexander looking for the double, doesn't see it. Head outside single, gets the ball and socket grip. Oh, nice strike there by Petrie. He's just work on sucking. Oh, beautiful, turning the hips down there. Beautiful punches, Neon Belly straight to the mount, Chris. Up against the cage, William is in trouble here. Devastating ground and pound comes in, raining down onto Varen Shaldi, covers up. Referee in charge, Sam Media is looking very closely. 30 seconds on the clock, Dean, and wow. William back to the feet. William jumps up there, perfect timing, saw his opening, Chris jumped up. He's taking some heavy shots there on the bottom. Man. This has got to be the most intense round of the night, and that is saying something thus far, Dean. Incredible. Petrie leaving that left hand down there. I'd like to see William throw that big right hook of his. Stupendous nice. power from Varenskov, but an even more bold shot comes in from the 10th Planet Funder fighter, but the clock runs out. Man, the crowd on their feet here, Dean. Incredible stuff. Bell to bell. Well, the action continues here at Lion Fighting Championship 6 here on MMATV.com. Chris Hookster here with you, Dean Midhat by my side, and Dean, what a war unfolding in front of us. Thus far, it is a typical grappler versus striker matchup here. William desperately trying to keep the fight standing. Like Alexander trying to rip his opponent to the ground. Swing and a miss from William, excuse me, Alexander. But beautifully countered, I love how William Varenschild actually jumps in on an inside leg kick. Punches and bunches and return from a Petrie Alexander. William, quite rightly, a squatted stance there because he needs to keep low so he can sprawl those hips out like we saw there, Chris, just as I said it. He knows Alexander wants to come in. He knows what he wants to do, so he's keeping that squatted stance a bit lower to avoid the take. Oh, my goodness! Alexander's caught him! Huge power punching from Alexander. And Varenshaw clipped him once, but Alexander gets him to the mat. Varenshaw trying to recover close guard. Plenty of time to work with on top for a Petrie Alexander. Wow, Alexander smelt blood, jumped in there, used it to get the fight to the ground where he knows he's more advantageous. He's getting tied up here. Williams doing the, the, the right job here of tying his opponent up, recovering, using that time to gain his equilibrium back. But a Petrie looking to slide that knee through and hit mount. There in quarter guard, will he be able to pass? And he does full mount for the 10th Planet London man. 
Alexander here on top. Let's see what submissions or indeed ground and pound he can shoot out here. If he's going to try and force William to turn his back, he needs to do it to his right side. The cage is stopping the left side there. I like how he's staying very heavy and trying to isolate those arms by laying down on top of it. He can't really afford to skydive because Aaron Stahl is right up next to the fence. But now it looks to go to the back. William looking to turtle and defend. Doesn't think that works. Goes back onto his shoulders, but now the ground and pound, Dean. Alexander pounding down on his opponent there. Beautiful stuff. Oh, my goodness, and it's all over. The referee said enough. What a right hand like a piston up, Petrie Alexander. Spectacular finish here in the second round. And that seems to be the round for the fighters thus far tonight, Dean. That's a few second round finishes in a row. You can see William there split open on the top of the head. Alexander raining down shots. He persevered, Chris. He got the mat. He used that example of that big punch to get the fight where he wanted to and ultimately finished in the end. With more strikes on our professional bowling match, it's, it's a Petrie Alexander taking the big W tonight in LFC. Round two, the blue!